You have traveled to China for 18 times before serving as the Sri Lanka ambassador to China in 2021. So what impressed you the most about China? Uh, if I were to describe my impressions rather than impression, I'll have to spend a whole day uh, because uh, I came to China in the 80s when I was a very young diplomat with a delegation. And ever since then, every time I visited China, something has changed, something has got bigger, uh, something has become dramatic, starting with the cities, are dramatically different. The, the architecture is stunning. Then, of course, you have the, the best and the biggest high-speed railway network in the world, 42,000 kilometers of high-speed uh, railway. Uh, then, you, looking around, you will see that China is the one country in the world ever to have eliminated extreme poverty. That's an achievement that uh, you can be proud of forever. <laughs> China and Sri Lanka have carried out a number of cooperation projects under the Belt and Road Initiative. For example, the flagship projects of the Klompa Port City and Hanlam Tosa Port. How do you think the two projects role in boosting Sri Lanka's overseas trade? Under the Belt and Road, our two major achievements, there are other achievements also, are the construction of the Colombo port city and the Hambantota artificial port. It was, it was dug out of land and it's now a functioning port. So these two are significant achievements. Now what we're doing is we're waiting for companies from around the world to come and establish themselves first in the Colombo port city and then of course uh, Hambantota port well, this year marks the 10th anniversary since the Belt and Road Initiative has been put forward by Chinese President Xi Jinping. So what's your take on the development of the BRI and how do you think the initiative brings development opportunities for its partners? The initiative as a whole, I, in my view, in my assessment, is a success so far. It has resulted in major highways, bridges, uh, harbours, airports, and other related infrastructure being developed in the wider region, starting with the ASEAN, South, South Asia, uh, and Africa, Middle East also. Uh, of course, now uh, there are developments in Latin America and the Caribbean as well, which I think is, uh, is a tremendous achievement. In recent years, some Western media have claimed that Sri Lanka is falling into a Chinese debt trap. What's your take on this? I have responded to this many times because I think it's, we need to s distinguish between uh, cheap propaganda and reality. Uh, Sri Lanka is going through a financial crisis, uh, but that has very little or nothing to do with Chinese funding. Uh, we, uh, to begin with, only about 10% of our debt is owed to China. Uh, close to 50% is owed to Western financial institutions. So if there is a debt trap, it's in the West, not in China. 